Yo, what's going on guys? And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your player be able to sprint in Roblox Studio. If you want more tutorial videos like this one, make sure you like and subscribe. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is because we're using shift to let the player be able to sprint, it'll actually lock like shift lock the player so they can't look around as well. So what I'm going to do is go into starter player over here, scroll down to where it says enable mouse lock option, and I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. After we turn that off, we can go start a character scripts, add in a local script, and I'm just going to call this sprint. You can call it whatever you want. So first thing we're going to get is the user input service, which is going to equal game, get service, user input service. And then we're going to get the player, which is going to equal game dot players dot local player. And then we're going to get the character, which is going to equal player dot character or player dot character added colon weight. And then we're going to get the humanoid, which is going to equal character, wait for child, humanoid. And then we're going to get user input service dot input began, connect function. And we're going to get the input and then game processed. And then we are going to say if not game processed, then return end. So that just makes sure if, if the player is typing in chat, then nothing happens. And then we're going to say if input dot key code equals enum dot key code dot shift or left shift. Then we can set humanoid dot walk speed equal to 30. You can make that whatever you want. If you want the player to go faster, just make it higher. And then what we're going to do is get user input service dot input ended. And we're going to connect that to another function. And we can just copy over these variables from up here. So input game processed. And then we can also copy over everything inside of this as well. And then instead of setting the walk speed to 30, we could set it back to 16, which is the default walk speed on Roblox. You could also set it to whatever you have it set in the starter player. Just whatever you want. Okay, so small issue. So I had it where it said if not game processed. We just want to get rid of that not right here and then it will work fine. So now if we load into the game, if we hold shift, we can uh, run faster. And then whenever we let go, we go slower. So uh, yeah, that's it for today's tutorial video. If you want more videos like this one, make sure you like and subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys next time.